Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys, based on the time zones you all are coming from. So, guys, before we start with the session, can you all please give me a quick confirmation if you all can see my screen and hear me loud and clear as well? Perfect. Thank you so much for the confirmation, everyone. So, my name is Neeraj Kheria, and I've been working in this IT industry for more than 13 years now. So, before we get started, let me quickly introduce our Edureka Masterclass community with you all. So this community of master classes was started back in 2019 and since then we have been closing into almost 31,000 members so far and in these master classes we conduct multiple webinars and live events on different topics including blockchain, IoT, artificial intelligence, machine learning on big data and multiple front end and back end development technologies. And the best part about these webinars are they are absolutely free of course so there are no charges involved here. And these webinars are a really great platform for anyone who is looking to get into the industry vertical by having a clear cut understanding on the technologies which are required for getting into the domain of their choice. So that's about this community and to be a part of this community and to get notified on the entire schedule which has been planned for the month. We can refer to this link here called uh, join this group. And once you click on join this group, we will be notified with the entire schedule that has been planned for the month so that we can join accordingly. All right, so today we have gathered for our discussion on top of the data science using tablet platform. So today we are going to discuss on what exactly we mean by data visualization, why we have to use Tableau, what exactly data science is, and then we are going to discuss on the hands on. So, first of all, if we talk about data visualization, then what exactly it is? So we know that visualization allows us to visually access a huge amount of data sets in easily digestible formats and well-designed data graphics are usually the simplest and at the same time most powerful and without data visualization we will not be able to make sense out of the data set right and that's why data visualization is required for any data set. for example even if we have the access to structured semi-structured or unstructured data set we need to visualize it because then only we will be able to get the best insight on top of that data set. So if you talk about the power of data visualization, now currently if you look at these different tables, like for example, we have table one, two, three, and four. Now, if we just give a quick overview on these tables, then the data set looks almost the same, correct? The data set almost looks the same, but again, when we try to visualize this, on top of any kind of graphs for example here we are going to use the plot graph so here we can see they are completely different so table one is what table one is somewhat positively correlated and table two is again it is it goes at a saturation level and then the value simply starts dropping and then table three is somewhat a perfectly positive correlation and the fourth one is not correlated at all. So again, the impact in the change in value in one has no impact on the other, correct? So that's why to get the actual insight, okay, what exactly data is and again, how they are distributed, what exactly they mean, we need to present data in the visual format and the right visual as well, so that we can make the most sense out of it. And that's exactly what BI tools like Tableau does. All right, so, now, if you talk about the usage of data visualization, or we can see the entire process, then first of all, we have to integrate different data sets. Now, we have tools like we have, we know that data may be stored in multiple different sources. For example, data may be in the ERP solutions, in the CRM, in the format of databases, and, and many other sources, right? So there can be multiple sources of data set, and we have to make sure that we do process data sets stored in different locations. We collect them, we perform all the ETL activities, and we make sure that they are in the most usable. And again, they are they can be accessed as quickly as possible. And then we have to work on data pre-processing as well to make sure all the R pliers are removed, and that's how we can process it. All right, just a moment. Now, if you talk about why Tableau, because see, Tableau helps us in maintaining the access to multiple data connections. So Tableau can easily connect to nearly any data source, and be it corporate data warehouse, Microsoft Excel, or web-based data. 
Next is now it also offers us the feature of live analysis. That means using Tableau, we can allow us, we can allow the users to connect and perform analysis on a live data so that we don't have to import data locally. And then we also have the concept of show me. That means Tableau is awesome at recommending which visualizations to use. And show me smartly highlights view types that works best with the field type attributes in our data set. We don't have to choose only that visual which is relevant to the given to the selected data set only they are going to be highlighted right and then we also have multiple maps components so unlike other bi tools using map in tableau is very simple you can easily select it from the show me list and then we can present the data set now tableau is one of the leading solution provider in terms of the business intelligence platforms and Tableau is currently helping world's largest organization use the power of BI and make sense out of the data set and allows the customer to spend more time on data analysis and less time on data ranking. Data ranking means working on data pre-processing and making the most sense out of it. So if you talk about data science itself, now what exactly data science is? Data science in simple layman terms, it's simply increasing the accuracy of the model that we are going to create. Uh, it is called as data driven science, which is basically about scientific methods, processes, and systems to extract knowledge to or insight from data in various forms, either structured or unstructured. Now, a question that usually is asked to data scientists is that is something that we don't know. And that's why it involves programming, statistics, and business. All right. So, if we talk about the data science life cycle, then it involves studying the business requirement first and then it involves data acquisition data processing data exploration modeling deployment and all the data science components as well and in terms of data science domains there are multiple domains in which data science is currently in use let's say we have it in banking media and entertainment healthcare industry education government transportation insurance retail because one common fact, one thing is common in each and every of these domain data sets. So they all generate humongous amount of data that needs to be analyzed so that we can make the most informed decisions on top of it. And that is exactly what data science offers us. Now, moving on to the hands on, we do need to have the access to Tableau Public. So before we can work on Tableau, we have to download Tableau. So let me just share Tableau public version with you all. So we can get the access on Tableau is off just like we have Power BI with extra version, which is also offered as a free platform. We also have Tableau public through which we can start visualizations. Let me share this. There you go. So in case you don't have the access to Tableau public, you can go ahead and download this from this tool. Once we have successfully downloaded and installed Tableau public, So now we can open it up. So let it open it up. So here we can type in as Tableau public. So this is available as for free. So first of all, we can go ahead and connect to any data source in Tableau. Let's say we have a local Excel file. We have a text file, JSON file. We want to get connected to our database. We can do anything we want. So here we have to simply go ahead and click on Excel file. And once we have the access to this file here, we can go ahead and click on download on here we can choose the excel file and in here we can choose this global superstore orders 2016 so we can open up this file so now once we open the file here here we will be finding two different tables one for order which contains row order id order date shipment date shipment mode customer id customer name segment postal code city state country so here basically we have the entire sales report for a company that we can visualize. All right. So now to start working on creating the report, we can navigate to sheet one. And this is the area. This is the canvas where we are going to create the entire report. 
and this is a left sidebar where we have all the metrics all the measures that we have selected based on the sheet that we have imported here so now we can choose any particular metric and then we can start creating a report out of it for example let's say here we want to see the profit now here we can choose profit first now we can simply drag and drop profit in terms of rows and let's say we want to see the profit for different year for the company now the problem statement is the company wants to understand how the profit distribution has been for different years all right so here we can see here we have different categories available for example now the the main problem statement of company is the company wants to understand how the profit has been distributed for different come for different years so what we can do here we can choose profit and here we have the order date so here we can simply drag and drop order date in the columns now currently we can see based on the pointers that we have selected we can see some visuals they already have been highlighted so that means we can create these kind of reports from the visuals that we had assigned for example here we can choose tree map here we can choose the line graph here we can choose a simple stat or can say recommended graphs here then we can choose the area stack so depending upon the requirement we can choose a type of visuals that matches the requirement all right now currently we can see a steep graph has been from 2014 from 2012 till 2015 but now we want to see a detailed report that means how the profit has been distributed in different quarters so now this year data set contains multiple things in here we have data for different quarters different months and different days as well so to expand the year column we can simply click on plus and here we can see now the data has been first of all divided in different years and different quarters so here we can see the report for 2012 and that too for different quarters for 2013 for 2014 and 15. now these different four quarters they say different story as compared to being a collective one correct as you can see the best year has been 2015 and the year that was not so good was 2013 itself correct and now if you want to segregate this even further again we can expand here we can have the segregation based on different months as well now let's say we don't want to have different graphs defined for different months we only want to have a single graph and where we can visualize reports for different months and different years can be defined as different legends we can have different different lines and different lines for the same graph so what we can do we can use year as a legend so for using year as a legend we can drag and drop year and drop it in the color section and as you can see here now we have seen the reports for different months for different quarters let's say here we don't want to see the report for different quarters so we can simply use the drop down option available here and here we can simply click on delete or here we can say remove so now we can see here the quarter reports have been removed and now we are seeing only a single graph where we have four different lines representing different years and then we can see the entire distribution the entire performance of the each and every year in terms of different months so now we can visualize that almost in every year we saw a steep decline in profit from june and which lasted till july and then from july onwards we saw a good increase in, the, in terms of the profits of different years for 2012 13 14 and 15. now if you want to add multiple filters for example let's say we want to see the, the profit distribution only for a particular segment so we can see here we have segments also available like we have the subcategory we have the shipment mode we have the category available so for example we want to see the reports only for categories so here we can drag and drop categories in filters and let's say we want to see the profit distribution only for let's say office supplies so here we can choose office supplies click on ok now we are seeing the report only for the profit distribution for different years only for office supplies we can again apply the condition as in we want to see the reports only for furniture so here we can apply furniture and the entire report is going to be again a bit different for furniture itself so here they are different reports and again we can customize them which matches our visualization requirement and that's how they are going to be represented all right so this is basically a handout that you can use as a reference and now if you want to see now let's say we have assigned multiple filters here if you want the same filters to be applicable on different pages then we can define it 
we have different type of visuals that we can make use of for example we want to create a new report for showcasing the segment let's say the profit for different segments so we can drag and drop growth and here we can choose the type of visuals which is much matches the requirement now we want to show the reports in terms of segment and in terms of categories for different segments we can simply make use of the entire reports for example here we can see here we have a report for different performance in terms of profits for furniture which contains three categories consumer corporate and home and we want to use a single graph here like this one we can define it and then we can make the entire report interactive where we can define how and where the visuals and what kind of visuals have to be represented so depending upon which segment which type of data we are working with we can visualize them we can filter them out as and when required thank you so much have a great day ahead take care bye bye